Last not least, one of my favorite brands out here in this world is uh, Stone Island. Stone Island for me has always been something that I liked a lot. I actually have their coffee book table, um, Storia. Um, I think that's pretty dope. Um, just seeing the like 10 plus years history of heritage of the brand and where they're coming from, where they're going and what they stand for. So it's really cool to see that collection and, and what they're about. And speaking of that, there's two things that um, Stone Island has, is doing this fall. And one is the introduction of their ghost pieces for fall, um, fall winter 2020. So if you look at this right here, um, the stone collection, Stony Island's collection of the ghost pieces are, are quite nice. Italian functional wear imprinted with a Stone Island. Um, as you guys can see, you guys can see like this off-white creamy texture, tonality of jumpers and suits and jumpers and like, you know, you got the loafers, you got the shorts, the sweaters, and even with the brand branding of the badge, the iconic badge, um, that's even decked out in white. So it has this white on white vibe uh, towards it. And I think this is pretty sick. There's a lot of pieces that I'll pick up from Stone Island. I highly encourage you guys to check out Stone Island. Um, I personally liked it before media really got a hold of it in the, in the Western culture. I noticed when Drake got his like his medallion, his like uh, his necklace decked out in Stone Island as the brand. A lot of people took wind of it a few years ago, but I, I always been on Stone Island for a long, long time. And um, if you guys can incorporate Stone Island into your own fits, your whole aesthetic will change. Like your whole vibe of yourself will change because Stone Island is like a high end luxury brand. And what that, what's that, what, what is that mean? What, that, what does that mean to you and you as a consumer? It means you are a rep representation of something or a brand that adds value to the consumers, to their clients. And you're someone who stands for value. So if you can get yourself involved with a Stone Island uh, luxury gear, definitely invest in one of the pieces. You can get if you get like a jacket, sweater, maybe a pair of shoes, maybe a sticker. If you guys are just starting out, but get yourself a piece um, because I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, <laughs> uh, I actually funny story is last weekend I was out and about and downtown Toronto. I was checking out some vintage spots and I landed across Stone Island and I'll show you guys a picture of what I was going to pick up, but they were too small for me to wear. So these were medium and these were in like a rose color, like a dark, dark red color. And, um, yeah, dark red color. And, uh, these were Stone Island sweatpants, and these were super sick. Like, these were dope. The material of it, the look of it, the aesthetic. But I noticed a few things about this product that the bleach and the dye was off a bit. I think it would have been through, I think some bleach water or whatever just got involved and, and kind of messed up the material of it. So there was that. I noticed about the pair of pants, and they were just a bit smaller. But they were going for about $90. Retail, you're looking at about like maybe $350 for a pair of sweatpants from uh, Stone Island. But uh, the pants were sick. Uh, that being said, um, they have an all-black collection here as well. Um, so this is quite unique because even the, even the badge is decked out. So it looks like there's a monochromatic um colorway of of work wear not work wear but like pieces the the capsule collection so they have a all black look of it they have a brown like not brown like a navy look as well so you got three different tonalities you got the navy look you got the black look and then you got the white look i think those are all pretty sweet i love to mix and match a lot of these materials together and um, I think you guys will like these pieces a lot. If you guys can incorporate yourself in getting a piece, definitely do so. Like I said before, um, these are products that will last you a lifetime. But also, when you take care of these products, they just, they just last much, much, much longer. So if you can get yourself involved in a Stone Island, pro Stone Island product, do so. I definitely encourage it. And tell me what you guys find. Um, so Stone Island 
extended fall winter collection with a hooded. Uh, so this, the next thing I'll be talking about for part two of the Stone Island extension is what they have going on, which they recently just dropped as of about last week or so in terms of news. Um, they have a whole new aesthetic here. So prices from 150 to 1000 So what you'll see is more of outdoor utility type of wear. So you got this gentleman with a pair of pants. Um, and he got the top decked out to the the T and uh yeah the, the pants are nice. I actually like the pants a lot. I've um, always been a fan of the natural dye. Um the oh this is sick too. Definitely. The jacket's dope. I like the aesthetic of the black pants as well. This aesthetic is is, is gravy, man. I like this a lot. It's a good look. It's a good look on it's a good look on him too. I'll probably change the hat. I'll probably change a hat for a toque. To be honest, yeah, the sweater is dope. The oversized drapey drapey look to it is something I don't like. I don't gravitate towards that. Um, but for some people, it could work out. Oh, this is pretty sick. The jumper, the two tone jumper. That's pretty dope for like a music video type of vibe or a lookbook. I don't know if I, I see myself wearing it like that. Maybe there's a time and place. The nylon jacket is pretty sick right here. A nice expression of yellow, kind of like a tan yellow. It's cool to see. The, t the beanies are always nice to see too. And they got the long sleeve jumper underneath. So let me know what you guys think of this. I think there's a lot of cool pieces here. A lot of things that I can see myself wearing. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts on, on the Stone Island um, collection from the extended version and from um, the discrete ghost pieces for fall 2020. So yeah, that being said, guys, uh, I really appreciate you guys.